I think that one of the most difficult speaking situations is having to give someone your credit card number, especially when you have to do it over the phone. I am a native speaker and I still get nervous when I have to do this. And I don't really know why. I think I'm worried that the other person isn't going to understand me and that I'll have to repeat myself a million times and that the whole interaction is going to be awkward. So if you get nervous when you have to give out your credit card number over the phone, you are not alone. But in this lesson, I'm going to give you some tips to help you be sure that you're easily understood the first time. So let's get to it. A big part of being easily understood when you're giving out your credit card information is knowing and practicing the appropriate American intonation on this series of numbers and also knowing and practicing where to pause. So let's take a look at a sample credit card number. Obviously, this is not my real credit card number. I wouldn't give out that information, so don't try to use it. But this is the correct amount of numbers that you'd see on a real credit card, at least in America. Other countries or banks from other countries may be different, but in America, this is the amount of numbers that you'd see. And if you notice, they're broken up into groups of four, and there's a space between each group. That space is where you need to pause. So I want you to notice that as I read the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you could see that I paused between each little chunk of four numbers. The other thing that you want to practice, and I want you to notice when I read it again, is that my intonation changes a bit. My intonation rises for the first three sets of four numbers, but on that last set of four numbers, my intonation goes down, meaning my voice goes down in pitch. It goes up in pitch at the end of the first three sets, and it goes down in pitch on the last set. We use that downward inflection, that downward intonation, that downward change in pitch to signal that we're finished giving whatever information that it is. In this case, we're finished giving our credit card number so the listener knows that we're done. So see if you can hear that change in intonation as I read that number again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can change up the intonation on the first three sets of numbers a little bit, but it it always goes up rather than down. But definitely go down on that last set of four numbers. Let's try that together slowly. We're just going to practice the intonation, and then we will practice the entire number a few times up to in a conversational pace, in a normal pace. So just practice my intonation. Imitate the music that you hear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like you're going down a set of stairs. One more time. Let's practice the intonation. One, two, three, four, up in pitch. My voice gets higher. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, zero, one, two, two. Do you hear that? I really go up there because I'm kind of preparing you for the big finale of my last four numbers. Nine, zero, one, two. And this is the important part. Down four steps. Three, four, five, six. That's how we signal that we're done giving the number. The person on the other end will be comfortable with that and they'll, they'll know to move on to the next set of information. Okay, so let's try that together. I'm going to leave space for you to practice each little chunk. Then I'm going to do the entire credit card number and leave space for you to imitate that. If you need to repeat and slow it down, totally fine. But let's break it down into the four chunks. Here we go. One more time. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six. 
The next bit of information that you'd have to give if you were giving out your credit card information would be the expiration date. So you have a choice here. On your card, it will be all numerical. You'll just see the numbers like you see here. So you have the option when you're giving the information out loud, you can either say 0822 or you can actually say the name of the month, August 2022. Totally up to you. Let's practice both ways. Again, notice the intonation. When I say 0822, I go down in pitch at the end. It just makes it easier for the listener to comprehend. Same thing, August 2022. I go down those steps at the end to let the listener know that I'm, I'm finished with the information. So let's practice both. 0822. And if I'm giving just numbers, I'm going to say that I'm going to link it together as if it's one word. So it's going to sound like this, 0822, 0822, 0822. You also have the option of saying 0822, but I think if I were without thinking about it, I wouldn't say 08 here. I would say 08, although it's interesting in the credit card information I do say zero, I don't say O. Oh. So I don't know why I do that. That just tends to be what feels natural and it's what you'll hear most Americans doing. So anyway, 0822 or August, 2022. August, 2022. August, 2022. And the last thing they will ask for is your CVC code. What is, I don't even know what CVC stands for. I need to look that up. Put in, I'm going to put a note in this video that's telling you what CVC stands for in a caption because I don't know off the top of my head. See, even native speakers don't know everything. But let's practice the intonation. Again, go for that downward inflection. Here's a sample CVC. I know on American Express it's four numbers, but most credit cards it's only three. So let's practice if someone would ask, and what's your CVC code? One, two, three. Down in pitch. One, two, three. So that's how to give out your credit card information. Don't give it to anyone who shouldn't have it, but if you want someone to have it, that's how to do it and be easily understood.